Hello fellow cruisers and welcome to Backroads Tourist. My name is Jeff and I'd like to give you a tour of the inside cabin we had on our last cruise and stick around until the end because I've got a special tip that you are going to love. Don't get me wrong, we love having a balcony, but sometimes you can get incredible deals on inside cabins. And if you're like us and don't spend much time in your cabin anyway, it makes for a very tempting offer. Our stateroom on the Caribbean Princess was P240. It was on deck five, not too far from the stairs, elevators, the art gallery, and the International Cafe. To make things even better, it was just a few decks down from the theater and the casino, two of our favorite places on any ship. Our stateroom wasn't large, but the mirrors on the walls gave it the appearance of being bigger than it actually was. Interior staterooms on Princess are usually about 160 square feet, but even though it's small, you still have a large, comfortable bed, nightstands, refrigerator, television, phone, desk, chair, storage, open closet, and bathroom with a shower. You'll notice that a lot of the shelves have railings on them. That's because it's not always smooth sailing when you're on a cruise, and this helps to keep things from falling off the shelf when that happens. We find that the beds on Princess are very comfortable. The pillows are great too. And under the nightstands, there are motion activated night lights that are very helpful if you need to get up in the middle of the night. Hey, as long as I have you here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can be in the loop when I release new videos, and I usually do that about twice each week. The closet comes with plenty of space and lots of hangers, but if you think you're going to need more, maybe pack a few in your suitcase, or you can ask your room steward for more. You can even order more on your Princess app. Your cabin will come with a personal safe. It's large enough for small items like wallets, passports, small purses, phones, but it's not big enough for most tablets or laptops. Follow the simple instructions to put in your personal code number and you're all set. The bathroom is small but functional. If you're old enough to remember what a phone booth is, that's about the size of the shower. They do supply you with soap and shampoo dispensers and we found the water pressure in the shower to be really decent. Outside the shower is a small sink and counter and inside the shower, you're gonna find a retractable cord that's just perfect for hanging your swimsuit on to dry. And now for the big secret. Most people only find two outlets in their room, one by the desk, the other in the bathroom. But we found a third one. Way up behind the television, we found a third outlet with an open socket. If you really, really need an additional place to plug in, I'd suggest bringing an extension cord and running it down from that socket. Just remember to make sure that the extension cord doesn't have a surge protector because those aren't allowed on board. If a small cabin doesn't bother you and you don't mind being cozy with your traveling companion, this is a budget savvy way to cruise. But if you're claustrophobic or just really enjoy having a window or a balcony, this may not be the stateroom for you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jeff and I'll see you on the back roads or on a future cruise.